Good morning. Today I thought it would be fun to do some math with shells. I love doing math with shells because you can practice counting, you can practice sorting them, and you can use them for adding and subtracting. Let's count to see how many shells I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's count one more time to make sure I counted the correct number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I have fifteen shells. When you sort shells, you can sort them in all different ways. You can sort them by different types. You can sort them by different textures. That's how they feel. So I have bumpy shells and smooth shells. You can sort them by colors. So I have white shells and gray shells. Today I decided to sort them by size. I made a group of small shells, medium sized shells, and big shells. Then to organize my data, I made a graph. I wrote big, medium, and small. In my biggest group, I have one, two, three. So I drew three X's, one, two, three. In my medium sized shell group, I have seven, so I drew seven X's. And in my group with my smallest shells, I have one, two, three, four, five, so I drew five X's. Now that my shells are organized in a graph, I can use this information to decide which group has the least number of shells and which group has the greatest number of shells. Looking at my graph, which group has the greatest number of shells the most? That's right, the medium sized group has the most. Which group has the least number of shells, the fewest? That's right, the group with the biggest shells has the smallest number because there's only three. It has the least amount of shells. I've also decided to use my graph to practice adding. The first thing I wanted to add was how many shells do I have if I add the big group to the medium sized group. To organize my thinking, I wrote a number sentence. 3 plus 7. Then I decided to do a math drawing. When I use a math drawing, I like to keep it very simple and organized. So instead of drawing shells today, I decided just to draw circles. I do three green circles to represent the big shells and seven orange circles to represent the medium sized shells. Then to show that I am adding, joining the two groups together, I drew a big oval around the entire group. Then I counted three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I got my answer. Three plus seven equals ten in all. Then I wanted to see how many shells I have if I add the, small, the group with the small shells to the group with the big shells. Again, I wrote a number sentence to help organize my thinking. Five plus three. So five small shells plus three big shells. To solve this problem, I decided to use a different math model. I decided to use a number line. I found number five on my number line. And since I'm adding, I went to greater numbers on my number line instead of going to numbers that are fewer. So I started at five. And since I'm joining a group of three, I needed to do three jumps. One, two, 
three, and I landed on number eight. I always like to double check. So to double check my answer for this number sentence, I'm going to use the shells. I'm gonna remove the medium sized shells so that I don't get confused. And since I'm adding, I'm going to be joining my groups together. I'm going to take my big shells and I'm going to join them with my small shells. And now I'm going to count to make sure that I have eight in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I always like to recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I got eight again. Today, if you have shells at home, I recommend that you spend some time sorting them, sorting them in different ways by size, shape, color, type, and any other way you can think of. Then I suggest you taking a piece of paper and making a graph so you can organize your data. And once you have your data organized in a graph, I suggest that you use that information to practice adding. You can use map drawings to help add, number lines, and of course, the shelves themselves. I hope that you have a wonderful day and you enjoy exploring math with seashells. Thank you for watching.